lordy. Boy, it's pretty out today, ain't it, guys? All right, so uh, before I get started, I hope you enjoy this beautiful view on this video today. Um, thanks, everybody, for uh, subscribing and supporting the channel. I uh, appreciate all the, all the support. And uh, that being said... Uh, let me jump into it here before I fall asleep in this beautiful sunshine. Actually, I'm sitting in the car. Can't get out of the car, guys. Still sick, so just figured I'd drive up here and uh, just sit in the car and do a video today for you. Um, question I got in this ongoing saga, and you guys can uh, chime in with your comments below what you think on this. But, uh, what do you think has taken so long to get the boys back? Right? Um, I remember when the kids were taken, uh, right after summer got gone, the, the boys were taken out of the house. Um. Uh, You know, when the boys were taken, Don said it wasn't safe for the kids to be there. Matter of fact, um, yeah, he said it wasn't safe for the kids to be there. Wonder what that. Wonder what he meant by that, because there's been a lot of variables going around. You know, from. Um, You know, drug use to other stuff. You know, I've heard. You know, I've you. You know, you hear this and you hear that, but you know, well, where's the truth in all that? So let me let me play a little clip of uh, what Don said here. It's not safe at my house. Let's put it that way. There's too much going on, and people are crazy in hell. And uh, right now, it's just not safe at my house. There's too much going on, too many crazy people coming around trying to start stuff and everything like that. Are you talking about like people like amateur crime hunters and things like that? That there's psychos that walk up to my house in the middle of the night and there's just been all kinds of stuff going on. I don't it's just not safe. Alright, so after all that They go on to say that, I mean, months later, months later, it comes out that then they can even talk to the boys. It's like, what's going on there? Because he's, uh, you know, Don's upset saying that they're they're not even, you know, the state or something won't even let them talk to the boys. Let me let me play you that clip. I want to go to sad, right? How do you process it? How do you deal with it? I had to sneak the other day when I was with Josie. I had to sneak and talk to him. Like I had to sneak and talk to him about his sister. I, I can't believe this. I can't even talk to my sons about their you know sister. What the? I think f no, I'm not allowed to talk, according to welfare and the courts and everything. I'm not allowed to talk to my bo to my boys. All right, guys. So there's that clip, and um, geez, I mean we're coming up on two years now. We're coming up on two years that the boys have been pulled out of the home. What's going on? What's the holdup? You know, just asking. You know, just doing some research. You know, just digging into the case. I know we all got questions, and I, I was just sit, sitting there thinking last night. You know, what would be a good video to do to ask everybody what they think? 
And this is what came to me, you know, what's what's taking so long for Don and Candace to get the boys back. Um, I know he's been out of jail for five months now. What, he got out around November 1st? Um, just something's going on. Something's going on, guys. So chime in and let me know what you think. The holdup is. Now, let's move on to something else that's very interesting. And very sick, too. When you talk about being a, a possible danger to the public, listen to this. And I don't know if any of y'all have ran across this or not. I'm sure some of you have, but um, let's talk a little bit about Jody Sue and Andy. Um, yeah, Jody Sue's got some explaining to do. I don't think I don't think she's ever addressed it. I mean, she she said that she didn't know about it, but come on, really. You lived up there and you didn't know about it. Let me play this audio clip of Jody Sue for you. I remember Candace and Josie was, or Alan, you're one of them, talking about how Josie was using and how it was the reason he was taking It's not the reason Josie was taking out there. But shit occurring around that time is why. He's responsible for it. From before Utah until. So you go ask him why he was selling drugs to those children. And to Candace for the children. Alright guys. That's some pretty sick shit right there. Don't care who you are. Did she really not know Andy was doing that? Come on. I mean, I was born I'm not even going to say that. I mean Jeez. Do these people just not know when to shut up? I ain't never seen stupid shit like this in my life. To go on YouTube and to make a damn statement like that, knowing that at the time you was living with the dude, and then, you know, say that, oh, you didn't know about it. Really? Really? Ah. <sighs> Oh, and uh, didn't Jody Sue and Andy have kids themselves when all this was going down? Yeah. What about that? Uh-huh. Yeah. But all them kids up there on Ben Hill Road didn't stand a damn chance, did they? I think I'm finally seeing just how many players there is in this case. And last thing, guys. Last thing. I got a last question for you. Just how many players do you think will be indicted by the grand jury in Summer's case? Yeah. What about that? So again, just to recap. Uh, what do y'all think is taking so long to get the boys back? Mm-hmm.
Makes you scratch your head, don't it? Of course, a lot of people may already know the answer. But uh, you can definitely leave your comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, also, what do you think about, uh, you know, Andy up there, you know, Jody Sue making that statement that Andy was uh, taking stuff over there. I mean, the audio clip speaks for itself. And that's what I'm saying. These people are just, I mean, you can't make this shit up. You can't. So, again, guys, uh, drop your comments below and let me know what you think. And uh, I hope to get to feeling better because, man, I'd be down there fishing right now if I wasn't sick. Lord, I'd be pulling them out. I'd be pulling pulling them out of that damn river right there. Hell yeah, I'd have y'all along with me too. That'd be a damn good video right there. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this little episode, and uh, I'll see you on next video.